What's happening people? Welcome back. Today's video is all about how I am going to adapt to training now that everywhere is closed, all the gyms are closed, we're on lockdown in the UK. So I'm just going to be going over what I'm going to do in order to try and maintain some muscle during this phase. Obviously without a gym you're definitely going to struggle to gain muscle unless you've got a home gym that's really good or and also if you're in a dieting phase you don't really want to be cutting calories back when you haven't got a gym to train in, the reason being your body hasn't really then got a reason to hold on to the muscle and your body will then burn through muscle mass for energy. So in this period, I'd advise everyone to be in a maintenance phase unless you have the luxury of having a really good home gym. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what equipment I'm dealing with right now. Pretty sketchy, but games ain't it, mate. I've got a whole three seconds walk to train in my back garden. I'm gonna show you the equipment I'm gonna be using. I think I'm actually quite fortunate, although it's pretty sketchy, but I definitely think I have enough equipment to maintain the muscle mass I've got. So let's get into it. Let's take you in my back garden and show you what I'm dealing with. So we have a barbell. It weighs seven and a half kilograms. I'm not sure exactly how much weight it can hold, but we'll soon find out. This step is my bench that I'm gonna be using. My sister actually gave me this equipment to use, so I'm thankful for that. Shout out to my sister. And then, these are the weights we've got. So a couple of 10 kg plates, a few 1.25 kilogram plates, uh, 0 0.75 kilogram plates, some dumbbells there with a range of 2.5 kg plates on there. And these weight plates that are from like a, a multi gym thing and they weigh four and a half kilos each. And yes, they are going on the barbell. And we've got some flight clip things that are used as, I don't even know mate, just lock bolt things. Also, shout out to my brother for supplying me with these dumbbells. Yeah, my brother had them, but he's in Australia at the minute and he doesn't know that I've got his dumbbells. But yeah, cheers, young. Nice one, brother. I said, nice, bro. Fucking nice one, brother. Nice one, bro. Welcome to the voiceover part of the video. I'd just like to put a disclaimer out there and say, please don't do what I'm doing in this first exercise. I don't want people doing this, breaking their ribs, having loads of injuries and saying, well, Brad Holt told me to. So yeah, only I'm allowed to do this. That was complete improvisation of how I was gonna get that barbell in position. Obviously I've not got a rack, so I'm kicking the barbell up like the dumbbells. But listen, that felt all right, it worked. So now I'm gonna stack on some weight. Hopefully the barbell doesn't snap. So this is probably one of the sketchiest things I've ever done within training. So check this out. We have, this is how the barbell is looking. My first working set. That is a total of 67 kilos, but obviously that's not heavy, but it's just awkward to get that from on the floor and then onto my chest and press and then getting the bar down without killing myself. So. I'm just gonna try it. Mate, I'm scared just looking at it. Right, let's hope the barbell don't snap and that I can actually get this weight onto my chest and start pressing it. It's gonna be awkward, but let's go. First exercise was the barbell bench press. Obviously quite awkward getting it into position and I strongly recommend you don't do it. But yeah, primarily trying to target the chest muscles, also the anterior delts and triceps are quite heavily involved. So there was 67 kilos on the bar, which is considerably lighter than what I'd use in the gym for this exercise. But there are ways around it to make exercises harder. So slowing the tempo down, you'll see I'm doing like three second eccentrics. You can do pause reps. You can obviously increase the number of repetitions, less rest times between your sets. Also, um, you can do like rest pause sets, so you can take your set to failure, rest five seconds, 10 seconds, and then go straight back into the set. That's another good way to overload your workout without adding weight to the bar. <laughs> so, 
getting it up was pretty tough and awkward and questioned if I was going to die but it worked the second exercise I went on to was the standing shoulder press so hitting the anterior delts hard also the medial delt of your shoulder so front side delts also your triceps again are going to be heavily involved with any pressing movement um, I'm doing this standing rather than seated just so my core gets some involvement in the exercise too so a good compound exercise to build your shoulders the next exercise another shoulder one so hitting the medial delt your side delts um, so if you're after that aesthetic look of wide shoulders to narrow waist ratio then you definitely want to be hitting those medial delts hard so volume with lateral raises is something that worked for me Then I went on to training back, so barbell rows with a pronated grip is going to hit more of your mid to upper back, whereas a supinated grip like this um, is going to hit more of your lat, so depending on which area of your back you're trying to target. When you're training back, you want to do a vertical pulling exercise, so like a pull-ups or a lat pull-down, and then a horizontal pulling exercise, which obviously the barbell row is. So. Ideally, I'm going to try and find somewhere or something to do pull-ups on during this phase. Then I went on to burn out the triceps with an isolation exercise. So, the skull crushers with dumbbells, hitting that long head of the tricep, which is the meatiest part of your arms. So if you want bigger arms, hit your long head of your tricep. So, pretty good contraction, good pump doing these. Definitely recommend doing these if you have access to dumbbells. Got a sick angle here, my face looks really nice. So barbell curls, the straight bar. As you can see, with all my exercise, I don't just throw the weight around, I focus on execution. Get your execution perfect and then overload the workout. So slow eccentrics, getting that bicep in a fully stretched position and then contracting up and getting a really good squeeze at the top. So for the bicep exercise, I only do one set for each. So I then went on to doing some supinated bicep curls high reps with these, like 15 reps each arm. When you go heavy with bicep curls, you'll tend to see people get like a lot of shoulder flexion going on where their elbow kind of comes up, so their anterior delts are taking over and it's all this like sort of swinging the weight up and using the lower back. So I just focus on using the bicep by keeping my elbows pinned to my side. The last exercise for biceps, I did some hammer curls, again, slow eccentrics good squeeze at the top, squeezing as hard as I can to get the best contraction possible. So with hammer curls, that's gonna hit the long head of your bicep. Your biceps have got two heads, so make sure you're hitting both of them. With biceps, it's good just to vary um, the positions you're in. So with your arms out in front of you, your arms behind your waist type thing, um, your grips, all these things, rep ranges, you wanna vary it. So don't just do the same thing every session. I then went on to doing a leg exercise, which was the, the final exercise of the workout. Bulgarian split squats, so primarily hitting your quads. Killer exercise, definitely recommend doing it if you haven't. So when I'm training legs at the minute, I'm preferring to do unilateral exercises, so doing one limb at a time to make the exercise more challenging. Doing, say, squats with dumbbells, goblet squats, or a barbell with like 50, 60 kg, it's not really going to cut it for me, so... These are a good alternative. So the Bulgarian split squat, like I say, hits primarily the quads. I then went on to doing some lunges to hit the hamstrings and glutes a bit harder by doing a bigger stride. So the longer that stride is, the more glute and hamstring dominant that's going to be. So with this workout for my full body split, you'll notice it's quite upper body dominant. That won't be the case for every session. So my next session is gonna be more lower body dominant. So that concludes the workout, that concludes the video. Disclaimer, do not try this at home. Do not get a barbell like what I just did with sketchy weights on that probably shouldn't be on that bar. And trying to bench press it by rolling up your body. It's not what you should be doing, but I knew what I was doing, if that makes sense. Only I'm allowed to do that. So yeah, good session. I've never actually done full body workouts before, but it's pretty good, especially as like beginners, because you're hitting your, your muscle groups more frequently. It's better to hit your muscle groups twice or three times a week rather than just hammering it once a week. So bear that in mind. But yeah, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, remember to click subscribe. 
but that's it i will see you guys on the next video i'll be doing more of these so yeah stay tuned see you on the next one